Greetings, my name is Piero and welcome back to Neon Slash. So today I have another Resident Evil Mercenaries thing, but don't worry, it's going to be something different this time. And it's something that I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time. It's been over a year now since this game came out, so it's kind of dead. You know, uh, the DLC did come out and it revived it. Uh, it fixed the Mercenaries. I do think the Mercenaries now is very fun to play. So it, it, if you've hit, if you've quit this game, I think you should give it a try now with the Mercenaries DLC, you know, the Winter's Expansion DLC, or, you know, the Gold Edition. But today I wanted to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, and that is the Lemmy. So I get a lot of comments, like, I've read more than tens of thousands of comments, no joke, uh, in my Mercenaries videos. So today I wanted to address something that a lot of people are talking about in my comment section, and that is the Lemmy. So a lot of you are like, the the hard stages are impossible, It's the game's bugged, it's unbalanced, Ethan Winter sucks, the Lemmy sucks, I can't do it, you're too good, and uh, you, you know, the game's bugged for me, blah, blah, blah. You know, any, any other excuse in the world that you can probably imagine has been, uh, you know, commented in, in, these, in these videos for me. So just, I mean, I understand that there may be a skill gap, you know, between, you know, the average player and me. But honestly, personally, in all honest, in all honest, in my honest opinion, I do think the, the uh, heart stages are easier than my, one might think. So, today, I want to showcase the, um, the Lemmy, right? The Lemmy isn't as bad as everyone thinks. Uh, I can't do this, though, on the hard stages because I have, like, a million videos of me doing it in hard stages. So, if you guys want to see in-depth, serious guides, um, check out my uh, Ethan Winters hard stages guide in which I get triple S rank in one sitting all live commentated, all in one video. So check that out, it should be linked right now on screen. I'm going to, to be able to fully showcase this weapon, I'm going to be doing it uh, in the normal stages because Ethan Winters has a wide variety of weapons and, um, and uh, that means he can use any other weapon. Of course, if, you've, if you own the uh, DLC, you can use any of these characters, but I do believe Ethan Winters is the one that requires the most skill out of the four playable characters, purely because um, he has so many options at his disposal that uh, make him uh, a, a, a character that requires more skill. Uh, so let's pretend that you don't have 40,000 starting money. Let's just say that you have the 20,000, you just started playing, it's the village one, and you don't know what to do. First of all, if this is your first time, I suggest you still use the 1911 because it's just more, you know, it's just more noob friendly and it's very powerful. You don't have to tap the trigger. Uh, I would say, you know, upgrade your reload speed and then the rest put it on on power. Uh, to be honest, if you're trying to go for easy triple S rank on the normal stages. So the first thing I would upgrade personally is the reload speed uh, and the rate of fire. The rest, you can just do whatever you want, in my opinion. But since I have enough money, I will fully upgrade the Lemmy. Even the Lemmy at 3 or 4 is good enough. Because in the um, in the hard stages, uh, you can only go up to 4, 3, 3, 1. If you've watched my videos, you know what I'm talking about. The only thing that the Lemmy is uh, weak against is bosses. And it's very dependable on execution. Magic Magazine is pretty good. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, break shots amazing, so we're gonna go with break shot. So of course this is the mercenary, so you will get, you will get a different, you will get a different experience every time you play it. Okay, that's the point of an arcade game. That is the point of it. You will get a different. I can't stress this enough. You, it's structured in a way where you are going to get a different experience every time. Okay, this was not made as a challenge for you to get your your trophy it was made to be a mode you know that it's something that people play and get a different experience every time that's the point of arcade games okay it's a different run every time that's why they have random things like the orbs okay that's why you are not getting the, the execution pistol master break shot every time that's the point of it okay it's not broken it's not bugged it's not unfair it's the game okay Anyway, see, I didn't get execution, so I'm just going for a no-brainer, personally. 
so we're gonna go down this alleyway. I'm gonna weaken that guy and then I'm gonna go back in the alleyway. The small the small alleyway and then I'm gonna shoot that. And then finish off Mr. Dude here. And then go for headshots on other dude. And that's it. Even if you can't do it, even if you don't have pistol mass or anything like that. Uh, you can just save your combo by killing various piggies. These are the piggies. I like calling them piggies because they have pig heads. Um, but uh, yeah, so maybe I should... I just came up with another video idea. Uh, how to kill every enemy and the mercenaries. Anyway, that may be a bit too late. <laughs> I don't even think people are still playing this. But anyway, we're going to continue onwards here. Uh, it's almost Christmas. Maybe people are getting this game for Christmas. I recommend this game. Not the mercenaries. I mean, the mercenaries as well, but I recommend Village. See? I always go for headshots, but since I'm on console, I don't always hit the headshots. But that's enough. That's good enough. Even if you land one, it's good enough. The shotgun ammo, the sniper rifle ammo, and the mines. That gives me another 18,000. Although I don't need it, I can just use it to fully max out my Lemmy. At this point, if you're trying to do the same as me, I would recommend buying pipe bombs, um, the F2 rifle even, but I do think that all you need is a is a Lemmy and a pipe bomb. Uh, but I'm gonna try doing it just with the Lemmy. So the pipe bomb is used against big enemies. But again, if you're if you're a noob, quote unquote, I still recommend the 1911 or the shotgun. It's much easier. If you're a seasoned uh, if you're a seasoned Resident Evil player, I do recommend the M1897 shotgun. Or M1880, I forgot what it's called. But you, the first shotgun, the pump. I do recommend that. It's very, very, very satisfying. And very good. Okay, I'm gonna go for Magic Magazine. Simply because I can. It might be a good strategy to uh, not fully upgrade the, ma the max capacity on your weapon. That way you get extra ammo at the end. Because you do get extra ammo when you upgrade your, your ammo capacity. So that, that's also a good strategy. There's millions of ways of doing these levels, guys. It's not... I'm just showing you one of the millions of ways. You know, you don't have to... You don't have to do every single thing. You can come up with your own. Also, I'm just pointing you in the right direction. That's, uh, that's the point of these videos. I'm not gaining anything other than, you know, teaching you. So I'm gonna run, run, run after this guy. I'm gonna equip my pipe bomb here, or my mine, and he's gonna land on it, and he's gonna get red. I don't know if I said this already, but, uh, um, yeah, like I said, I'm a gamer. I like different games. I like a lot of games. I like, I, I play on PC, I play on PS5, and, um, my channel is a gaming channel. Oh, wow, look at that. Pistol Master. Um, will I make it? Why am I so slow? Did I pick all brawn? I lost combo because of that. So I'm a gaming channel, I will be making gaming videos. And I like making guides, so... Uh, I focus on that, but that I only, you know, I don't only make guides. And I don't only make Resident Evil stuff. But Resident Evil will always be, you know, my favorite game series. So that's always gonna be something that I will be playing. Oh, he does kneel, that's, that's great. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if you tap your R2, if you're on PlayStation, if you tap R2 too fast, they nerf you. They, it makes you shoot less. You have to tap one. You have to, like... That's crazy. The game is nerfing me if I tap too fast. Like, it makes me shoot slower. Look at this. See? I'm trying to do shoot faster. Anyway. Don't get upset. If I, if you, if, if you see other games on my channel, you know what I mean? Like, if you came for Resident Evil, that's perfectly okay. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the Lemmy, um, I guess, guide, or I don't know what this video is about. I, I, tr I, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I got only SS. That's kind of sad. Uh, but like I said, Lemmy is good enough on its own, but you don't have to just only use... Um, you know, the Lemmy. I'm just being dummy for trying to just use Lemmy. And also, I lost combo stupidly there. Either way. 
all you need is SS. So I don't want someone, I don't want anyone laughing at me for getting SS. <laughs> um, point is, Lemmy is better than you think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this random ass video. Uh, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, leave a like. It supports me immensely. It does, it does. It does help me incredibly. Uh, it promotes my videos. So that's what we want here. You know, we want more people. So uh, I hope to see you in the next one. And uh, stay tuned.